Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 18. Now it came to pass in the third year of Husha, son of Elah, king of Yashadael, that Yahiz ki Yahu, the son of Ehaz, king of Yahuda, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name also was Avi, the daughter of Zachariahu, and he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah, according to all that David his father did. He removed at the high places, and broke at the images, and cut down at the Asherah poles, and broke in pieces the brazen serpent that Moshe had made. For unto the, those days the children of Yashadael did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehu Shatan. He trusted in Yahuwah Elohim of Yashadael, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Yahuda, nor any that were before him. For he clave to Yahuwah, and departed not from following him, but guarded his commandments, which Yahuwah commanded Eth Moshe. And Yahuwah was with him, and he prospered whithersoever he went. And he rebelled against the king of Ashur, and served him not. He smote at the Pelishtim, even unto Gaza, and at the borders thereof, from the tower of Nazarim to the fenced city. And it came to pass, in the fourth year of King Yechiz Kiyahu, which was the seventh year of Husha, son of Elah, king of Yashadael, that Shalman Eser, king of Ashur, came up against Shomoron and besieged it. And at the end of three years they took it, even in the sixth year of Yechiz Kiyahu, that is the ninth year of Husha, king of Yashadael, Shomoron was taken. And the king of Ashur did carry away Eth Yashadael unto Asherah, and put them in Chalach and in Ravor by the river of Gozan, and in the cities of Madai, because they obeyed not the voice of Yahuwah Elohehem, but transgressed at his covenant, and at all that Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, commanded, and would not hear them, nor do them. Now, in the fourteenth year of King Yechiz Kiyahu, did Chanserevi, king of Asher, come up against all the fenced cities of Yahuda, and took them. And Yechiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, sent to the king of Asher to Lachish, saying, I have offended. Return from me. Eth that which you put on me will I bear. And the king of Asher appointed unto Yechiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, three hundred talents of silver and thirty talents of gold. And Yaqiz Kiyahu gave him eth all the silver that was found in the house of Yahuwah and in the treasures of the king's house. At that time did Yaqiz Kiyahu cut off eth the gold from the doors of the temple of Yahuwah and eth from the pillars which Yaqiz Kiyahu, king of Yahuda, had overlaid, and gave it to the king of Ashur. And the king of Ashur sent Eth Tartan, and Eth Rav Karik, and Eth Rav Shachi, rather Rav Shachi, from Lachish to King Yechiz Kiyahu, with a great host against Yerushalayim. And they went up and came to Yarushalayim, and when they stood were come up, rather, and when they were come up, 
They came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the highway of the fuller's field. And when they had called to the king, there came out to them Ele Chaim, rather Ele, rather Eliakim, the son of Kilkiyahu, which was over the household, and Shemna, rather Shivna, the scribe, and Yoach, the son of Achaf, the recorder, and Rav Sheche said unto them, Speak ye now to Yahiz Kiyahu. Thus says the great king, the king of Ashur, What confidence is this wherein you trust? You say, but they are but vain words, I have counseled and strength for the war. Now, on whom do you trust? that you rebel against me. Now, behold, you trust upon the staff of this bruised reed, even upon Mitzrayim, of which, if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Mitzrayim unto all that trust on him. But if ye say unto me, we trust in El Yahwa, Eloheinu. Is not that he, eth whose high places and eth whose altars Yahiz ki Yahu has taken away, and has said to Yahuda and Yerushalayim, Ye shall worship before this altar in Yerushalayim? Now therefore, I pray you, give pledges eth to my Lord, eth the king of Ashur. And I will deliver you two thousand horses, if you be able on your own to set, rather on your part, to set riders upon them. How then will you turn away at the face of one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put on your trust on, rather, and put your trust on Mitzrayim for chariots, and for horsemen. Am I now come up without Yahuwah against this place to destroy it? Yahuwah said to me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Alachim, the son of Kilkiyahu and Shivna, and Yoach unto Rav Shache, speak, I pray you, to your servants in the Aramith language, for we understand it, and talk not with us in the Yahudith yet language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rav Shache said unto them, has my master sent you, rather, me to your master and to you to speak at these words? Has he not sent me to the men which sit on the wall that they may eat at their own dung and drink at their own piss with you? Then Rav Shache stood and cried with a loud voice in the Yahudith's language and spoke, saying, Hear the word of the great king, the king of Ashur. Thus says the king, Let not Yahiz Kiyahu deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you out of his hand. Neither let Yahiz Kiyahu make you trust in El Yahuwah, saying, Yahuwah will surely deliver us, and at this city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Ashur. Hearken not to Yahiz Kiyahu, for thus says the king of Ashur, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, 
And then eat ye every man of his own vine, and every one of his own, rather, and every one of his fig tree. And drink ye every one the waters of his cistern. Until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, and a land of grain and wine, and, rather, a land of bread and vineyards, a land of oil, olive, and of honey, that ye may live and not die, and hearken not unto Yaqiz Kiyahu when he persuades you, saying, Yahuwah will deliver us. Has any of the Elohim of the nations delivered at all, rather, delivered at, at all his land out of the hand of the king of Ashur? Where are the Elohim of Hamath and of Arpad? Where are the Elohim of Sepharim, Hena, and Ava? Have they delivered at Shamaron out of my hand? Who are they among all the Elohai of the countries that have delivered eth their country out of my hand, that Yahuwah should deliver eth Yerushalayim out of my hand? But the people held their peace and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was, saying, Answer him not. Then came Elaikim the son of Chilkiyahu, which was over the household, and Shivna, the scribe, and Yoach, the son of Echaf, the recorder, to Yachiz Kiyahu, with their clothes rent, and told him the words of Rav Shachei.